Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to gate a groove, to alter it a bit for certain sections, or just to inspire you a bit more, to be more creative with the tracks you already have. So a project in front of me here with some drums, bass, keys, and a melody. Let's see what it sounds like now. And to solo each instrument, here's our drums. Here's our bass. Here's our keys. And here is our melody, which has a delay on it with some EQ or filter, a panner, and a distortion fuzz. Let's hear it. Notice how it distorts at the end. So let's play with this with a gate to create a different groove. Again, to inspire us to be more creative with our tracks. So what I prefer to do as I try out adding each track is to put them in a folder. So let's right click this track, move the track to a folder, make a new folder track, and now it's in this track. So now in this folder is just the drum track. Let's add a gate to this. I'll type gate in the filter. We'll choose the rear gate, which looks like this. And we'll just have a threshold so it gates some of the lower instruments or quieter ones. Before and after. just cuts off some of the quieter hits. So let's hear that with the track. Not really so interesting, but let's try adding a delay to this. I'll choose delay with tempo ping pong. Let's set it to be a half note and sound like this. Let's hear that with the track. Pretty cool. And again, before it sounded like this. Now let's add a filter by adding an EQ. I'll choose re EQ. Let's delete these other bands and start out filtering out the low end. And for the high end, let's change this to a low pass filter, bring down the Q a bit and tweak the frequency. Let's give it some movement by touching this less touched parameter and turning on parameter modulation. We'll add an LFO, we'll adjust the baseline and the speed, make the strength really small so it doesn't move as far, make it a bit slower. Before and after. Just gives it a filtered effect. Let's hear it with the track. So we can bring this effect in and out by automating the effects on this folder. Let's try any more tracks to this folder. Let's turn these two off for now. So we just have the gate. Let's drag in the bass. So the bass and drums are both in this folder. Let's hear that. And we could also bring up the hold to hold the gate open longer.
Hear that with the track. And let's also try adding a delay. Hear that with the track. And finally, our filter. Sounding pretty interesting. Let's try a few more, bringing in one track at a time. We'll start with the keys, drag it up into the folder. What's here? Just the gate. Let's hear it with the track. Let's bring in the delay. Here in the track. And finally, our filter. In the track. Notice how different each version sounds, and we could use different versions throughout the song. But let's bring in our melody next, drag it in to the folder. But notice we're leaving off the delay. We'll add that in later as it's going to sound a bit different. Let's hear it with just our gate. Bring in the delay. And the filter. Notice how each one sounds a bit different. And finally, let's bring in the delay into the folder. Drag it up. Now everything is in the folder and should be affected by the effects on this track. Let's start with the gate. We'll bring in the delay. And finally, let's try out the filter. Sounds pretty cool trying out all these different effects between our gate, delay, and filter on different tracks which we added to our folder. And trying each one out can create some breakdowns or different vibes in different parts of the song. Maybe a verse or a breakdown verse. And obviously, it's going to be different for your tracks, but it's kind of fun to play around with. Our gate, a delay, and an EQ. And of course, any other effect you want. So that's pretty much it. That's gating a groove in Reaper. I hope you learned something. hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.